Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's top five camp builds. Got five different builds to show off, as well as a feature at the end, which I think you will all enjoy. So I hope you all enjoy it and stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and why not consider checking out the Patreon where you can help support the channel for as little as one dollar. I'm going to try and start pushing it because I'm getting sick of this background. I made a target of like. I think it's 50 Patreons, and I'll actually change this whole room up. We'll decorate it, but I need your guys' help, so feel free to go check out the link below for the Patreon, and we'll try and do something with this bloody white space that needs something doing with. Anyways, let's dive into this week's Top 5 Camp Builds. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week, up at number five, we have a build by Daka the Wanderer. Now, Daka took a little bit of a break as she had to move homes and stuff, but she's back with a lovely build and back into the top five. This is over by Flatwoods, I think, over by the river in the lovely forest region, and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's very, really well decorated. I love the amount of plants you managed to fit in here. It's something that you always do for a lot of your builds. You always manage to get a lot of plants dotted around, and it really adds a bit of color and a bit of texture to the camps. You You've also got a nice little kitchen area going on here not overly like decorated or anything like that. it's nice simplistic and clean looking in the corner there so i like the look of that and overall just the overall like look of the build is really good as well you've also got this nice little kitchen uh bathroom even not a kitchen it's a weird bloody kitchen anyways i like i really like the actual touch of this with the little uh, lantern on the sideboard next to the bath and stuff really nicely done in here uh, but yeah, overall, just very nice decorated build. And look at that lovely Rust Eagle banner there. I love that thing. I really like how they added that in. So happy days about that. But let's check out the little addition on the side of the build and round the back of the build. All right, coming into the kind of conservatory, we call it in the UK. And that's kind of like a little building on the side or the back of your house. But that's all just made out of glass. And that's what I'm going to call this one. And this time around, that has made a bedroom. We have so many plants in here. Like I say, guys, I love it when people use plants. It's one of my favorite things to just throw into random empty spaces in my builds and it's done really well in here i like the chimney although you might get smoked out a little bit because i don't think there's a in fact no you're not in the side windows you'll be all right might get a bit smelly but it'll be fine look at that them windows will air it all out anyways there's the little balcony out the back as well looking out onto the river really nice touch and a lovely shower over there as well but there nice little build by dagger congrats on number five this week dagger let's check out number four all right, ladies and gentlemen, up at number four this week, we have a build by Moonlight Cowboy. Now, this is the first time he's actually made it into the top five. He has been a feature previously, but this is the one that's actually got into the top five and it's done really, really well. I like the location. I have seen quite a few builds here uh, over time now, but this one looks really cool. The roof is insane. Look at the amount of merging going on here. And I'd give you a little bit of benefit of the doubt for the fact that that contains so many roof pieces, you would have had a little bit less budget to decorate the place because that was the only downside I thought of this. This place. I thought there was a lot of open space in here, especially on the top floor. As you can see, it's like little bits dotted around here and there. That was the only downside of this build, I thought, but I understood the budget limitations. So I thought I'd let you off with that. But the merging going on in this build, guys, honestly, there is some beautiful mergers and it just looks absolutely fantastic. Like that was my probably my favorite thing about this build. It looks awesome. This merge over here is actually my favorite one. As you can see, you've got the little water things over here, the water tankers. Can't remember the real name of them. But look at that. He's got the uh, fish tank lamp merged into them there and I thought that was a really really cool touch really enjoyed that one and I just love the center bit of the room where you've actually got the structure of the pre-existing structure in the middle there of the satellite dish that looks really cool I really enjoyed that and the fact you've got a little hole in the middle where the wire actually goes up to the extra top part of the build I think it is looks really good and look at that the table's merged in the sofa's merged in to have an extra curve there just merging going on everywhere and it looked really really good so awesome job Matt. Going on to the downstairs part of the build, I actually kind of like this little area as well. You've got like all your essentials down here. You've got some workbenches, you've got your vendor, and you've also got a little bathroom going on in there. Nothing too overly crazy down here though, I don't think. I think mainly the mergers were going on upstairs, which I thought were really stand out and really cool looking. But yeah, nice job mate, nice build all around and really well done on putting the time and effort into that roof because you managed to make it like fit really perfectly around the top, like in that circular fashion. So. Very well done, it must have took a good bit of time, so thank you for doing that and thank you for getting involved. Alright, so at number three this week we have a build by Lady H and this is a really, really cool one. This one is built actually like on the water as you can see, so the foundations are just slightly lower than the water, making this flooded effect and it looks brilliant. This is a, I can't remember the name of the actual type of, it's like a place where a lot of flowers in, whatever you call that. Sorry, I should have read the bloody title before I clicked on it and started reviewing it, but still, it looks really good. I really enjoyed it. I really like the idea of this flooding uh, going 
equipment on in the build. I had seen one person build here in the past uh, where they did like a flooded, abandoned uh, type of build. And I think I did a tour of it, but I can't remember who it was now. Uh, but it was a really awesome one. And this one reminded me of that and I thought it was really cool. So nicely done with that lady hitch. I like the overgrown vibe in the middle there. And just the overall like abandoned, flooded type of vibe I thought was really cool. So really nicely done with that. Overall though, the decorating of the place is really good as well. You've got lots of stuff to fit the theme of the build. You've got the flower posters there. You've got vases and stuff inside of the display case that is merged into the fridge as well. And I just thought overall, all round, really good build. So thank you for sending it in, Lady H, and congratulations on number three this week. Before we go on to the next one though, here is a little bit on the side of the build as well. This is a little kind of area for growing plants and stuff. I really like the look of this place as well. It's got a mixture of the new rustic glass walls as well as some other wall over there. And it just looks good. You've got a bit of offset and foundations there as well. So they're not perfectly all lined up. That would have took a little bit of extra effort to actually work out where to put them and stuff. And yeah, just overall great build. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for getting involved, Lady H. All right, guys. So this is where it got tough. This is where the decisions were very hard to make and this one is number two and it's by Aussie Kitty Cat and this is a treehouse build. Now this one is a big improvement on the previous one that you added in last week Aussie. I really liked what you did with the conduit reels and stuff. I think that looked really good and the wires to hold onto and stuff. I thought it was a really nice touch. All done in adventure as well so it would have took a little bit of extra techniques and stuff doing that. So hats off to you for putting the time and effort into that. I always love it when people do this with the actual tree houses and they wrap them around a tree and it just overall like really adds to it and stuff there's a big difference between doing this and just building foundations around a tree or a set of floors or something like that i think this is really extra added touch it takes a bit of time and it just shows like and gives a bit more depth to the camp build so really well done with that aussie i like the use of the fireflies as well going up the tree that's a nice little bit of attention to detail and another thing that was really cool with these builds is the actual merging going on if you pay attention to the different sinks and the actual taps of the sinks in this build there's a lot of merging going on to actually create custom taps and stuff so here's one right away i think uh, where you've actually got the uh, conduit over the plant pot that was a really cool idea so you've actually made your own sink out of a plant pot and made the conduit the actual tap which i thought was really cool there's also another one i think in the bathroom which was really really uh, unique and i haven't actually seen anyone do it before i don't think but it looked really good also you've got a round built here and you've done this bit here like a little balcony as you walk in and it looked really good so nicely done with that that would have took a bit of extra effort i don't know if you've actually got that blueprinted or if you had to edit it once it was made which i don't even know if you can i don't think you can actually do so it must have been a blueprint unless i'm completely wrong here i'm not entirely sure please let me know though uh down in the comments aussie that would be really cool uh but yeah overall really good i uh, don't know why a few of the walls were missing wallpaper i don't know if that was the bug or whether that was intended i'm not entirely sure but overall great build aussie Thank you for getting involved and congratulations on making number two this week. Before we jump into the next one though, I would like to show the downstairs as well, just to kind of flex the location choice that you decided to go for this week. All right, so the really cool thing about this location is there, you've got the stag hanging upside down over there. And it was really cool because in this location, I think you actually get a random encounter where a raider or a hunter will come and they'll stand there like cutting up some meat or something like that. And I just thought it was a nice touch. If I'm pretty sure you would have thought about that when you chose the location. Adds a little bit of character to the build as well, as if it's more lived in stuff, because you can have your ally, as well as this random encounter. So nicely done with that, and overall, good build. Thanks for getting involved. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this week's number one had to be Aqua Nova Players. It's another one to add to her list of number ones and this one i thought was extremely cool i was watching it all the way through and i was looking at these walkways on the left and right side there which you could see and i was thinking i swear they're not normally there and i was thinking all the way through watching the video i actually watched it back a couple of times and i was thinking what the hell are them things why are they there is it a pipe normally in the game and if so why have i never seen this considering how many people i've seen build next to this boat and i was so confused and then i actually clicked on and it's the military prefab underground i'm pretty certain i haven't got confirmation on that yet but i'm pretty sure it is and if that is right that is absolute genius the location is great as always guys i'm sure you'll know this one the uh, actual lineup with the boat was perfect as well and i like the overall shape of the build it was intended to be a build just to flex them new rustic uh 
walls that we got for the new glass wall variant there. So very nicely done with that. I like the actual kind of pagoda or pagola, whatever you call it, look of the build, how it's got like different levels thanks to the actual roof pieces hanging out there held up by the wires. I like that attention to detail as well, but look at these walkways, man. That was just, that's what really sold the build for me. I was thinking inside, it was it was very condensed, very like well decorated, but I thought maybe it was a bit too tight with this one for some reason. I don't know why, just for some reason this time round I thought maybe it was a bit too hard walking around, but looking at them walkways, I was just I was just like, wow, I've never seen anyone do that before, and that's what I love. That's why I love giving number ones to people. That's why I love showing people off uh, in the top five camps, because when I see something unique, straight away, like, you're in the top five, pretty much. It's, if I notice it and you've made it very clear and stuff like that, and I've noticed it and I've enjoyed it, you're going to be in the top five. So, guys, make sure to try and come up with some really unique ideas. I know it's hard with the fact that, obviously, we've had thousands of camp builds, but if you can come up with something like... Them prefabs have been out for God knows how long, and this is the first time I've seen anyone do that, and it's just, it's brilliant. So in this room, I, was, I know I was saying it's a bit too condensed. I do like this room, but I don't know, I don't know if it was just because because of uh, how condensed it is, it was hard to record for Aqua or, or what, but I don't know, I just thought maybe like the walkways are a little bit... I, I honestly, I haven't got a clue. I don't know how I can back up this comment now, but yeah, overall, nice build as always, Aqua, and congratulations on number one this week. Beautiful idea with their military prefabs. Looked absolutely awesome. And a nice little swimming pool going on down here, although it's a little bit dirty. Uh, but what can you do? You can't clean it, can you? Never mind. Uh, but yeah, great job at number one. All right, so the showcase for this week is going to be won by the Uranium Fever Gang, and this build was by Bad Notions. The video itself is absolutely awesome. I really, really enjoyed this. I love the look of this, like how dark it is. It is built inside of the uh, mine shaft shelter, I think. Um, but you come in here and it's got like the torches on the headlamps, the walking around and stuff. In in here is a secret beast, which as you can see has caught what I presume is going to be one of their friends or something like that. But really, really cool video. Definitely advise you to go check it out and see what this creature is. I'm not going to spoil it too much. Please go check it out over on the channel, but there's a little glimpse there as you can see. But yeah, awesome build by Notions. Really cool idea. Oh, hang on. I've talked too long. Anyways, there's a that's a little bit of a glimpse of it, but if you want to check out the full video or anyone else involved, guys, the links are down below. But as you can see, this is the robotic spider and it looks insane. Love the video, love the build, and it's just really cool. So awesome job, guys. Thank you for getting involved. And there we have it. All right, guys, that was this week's top five camp builds. I hope you all enjoyed a very cool uh, bunch of builds that, uh, today, especially Bad Notions. That was incredible. And the idea by Aqua with them bloody military prefabs was just just beautiful. So awesome job. I'll do a quick shout out to everyone that got involved. So this week we had, da -da -da -da, right to the top, we had Aqua Nova Player, Aussie Kitty Cat, Daka the Wanderer, Monkey, A.M. Castillo with his Central Park build, Lady H, Chizza19, Sorrow, Fuzz uh, Brian, Moonlight Cowboy, Nux Black Thumb, uh, Slim Pickin, Uranium Fever with Bad Notions uh, submission this week, Science 13, Bella Boo, Navigator, Kalari, and that is everyone, guys. So thank you all for getting involved. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and if you are wanting to support the channel in that extra little way, make sure to go check out the Patreon down below. I'd very much appreciate it. And yeah, that'd be great. So thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you for your cooperation.